goblin trader. I have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> wow, feather falling five book, gold and emeralds. <laughs> okay, awesome. Diamond pickaxe. Oh my gosh. I don't have any emeralds, guys. <laughs> hey, are you gonna stick around? You're so cute. <laughs> yep. You'll see. I just opened this book that I had in my inventory. Academy Shrines, Constellation Papers, Ores. I have no idea what this, any of this means. Is there anything wrong? That sounds cool. City Marble, Marble, and Welcome. Okay, we congratulate you on your choice to pursue your undergraduate magical studies with the Academy of the Astral. The tome held in your hands has been specifically prepared by the Academy's instructors to serve as your study and learning guide for the duration of this pursuit. Each tome is linked to our Starlight Archives and will automatically expand the information available within based on your progress. In this way, direct instruction by our professors is not needed and you'll be able to progress at whichever rate best suits your particular learning needs. Mm -hmm. Kind of like work at home, right? Do not work and learning at home. <laughs> Do not mistake this to mean your studies will be easy. The Academy prides itself on the quality of its graduates compared to other inst institutes of learning, and proving your familiarity with starlight manipulation principles will be needed for your tome to allow further access into the archive's educational materials. We all wish you good luck on your journey. Faculty and staff of the Academy of the Astral. Okay, so I guess we can only go back. Constellation papers. Inside the chests of Academy Shrines, there can be found study aids in the form of parchments. These parchments are attuned to the existing Academy archives and will reveal knowledge of an additional constellation to the user when first viewed. I have no idea what any of this means. <laughs> as long as their records show sufficient understanding of starlight manipulation concepts. Due to this, duplicate records will not be generated for any given initiate. Excess study materials should be left behind for other initiates. These papers can be stored within the tome. So, oh, so, so that means that if I pick up a parchment and I already have it, I should leave it there. I think that's what that means. Um, first viewed, blah, blah, due to this. Do we, okay, so you won't see it twice, actually. You won't see it twice, but if you do, then you should leave it behind. Oh, 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 wait, go back. Okay, what is all this? That's ores, parchment. Okay. Uh, wait, see. Constellation papers. These papers can be stored. Okay, did we already read this? Okay. These papers can be stored within the tome for future reference by opening the tome while holding shift. Okay. In the event an initiate, an initiate should, would be so irresponsible as to lose their papers, <clears throat> I would never do that, the Academy will not be reissuing these materials. Instead, the initiate may borrow a copy from another initiate or recreate them once they have access to a sufficiently advanced crafting altar to properly infuse the constellation knowledge back into parchment. parchment. A relatively small cost for such a large lapse of judgment. Thanks to transportation magic, however, papers stored in the initiate's tome will remain accessible even if the tome were to be replaced. All right, I think we should get so to a safe place and see what these guys are talking about. And we will continue reading that. Uh, oh my God, it's still so long. 700 negative one. Okay, so they're, they're whoa, quite a lot further than me. Okay. So there's a village over here, so let's... Let's go over there because I have a feeling it's probably. Now the nice thing about this mod pack is it's in 1.16.4. Yeah, tall mystical light gray flower. Hmm. Or not? Oh yay! Okay, but 
but we should get to a safer place. Ah! She says as she falls in a, to a cave. Look at all this. Look, they've already been here. Oh, look at this. Uh, stone spellatheum, spelliothum, 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 spelliothum. It's a spluthum, that's what it is. Okay. Zinc. Cool. Ooh, ooh, I hope that's nothing dangerous. Okay, so, cool, nice cave. Plenty of the uh, regular old ores. It's a little laggy. I don't know if that's just because I'm recording or if it's going to be laggy anyway. Yeah. Uh, a nice little bed. I like it. Uh, I hear some burgers. Uh, oh. Really laggy. Let's check right here. It says it's getting plenty of FPS, but the oh, visuals are okay. Some potatoes. Can I actually take this thing? Why not? I'll take one tomato seed and and and, and one potato. Oh, look at that. There's a bees right here. Okay. Um, can I take this bed? Oh, oh there's some sheep. Yes, I don't want to kill a sheep. Cow. Bed. I'm going to take his bed. Look at the tulips. Mystical pink, pink flower. Oh, what's that house over there? <laughs> Excuse me. So let's check. Uh, check. I'm sure everything good has been taken out of here. Already. <laughs> Probably the best stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like this. Hmm. I don't need villagers in here. I could stay in this house. There's an iron golem. Oh, there's a villager. It's cute. that building over there? I want to see what that is. Horses. This is a nice spawn. There's a fountain. Mysterious fountain. It's probably something dangerous. Let's go see what this is. Green flowers. Oh, mystical green flowers. It's very imaginative. Interesting. I have no um in this thatch hut for a while. I have no nothing to make light with. I mean, there's, I mean, how many lights do we need down here? Up here, anyways. Okay, so let's go in here. Should be safe enough. We can finish reading this book. Oh, I don't have anything to eat.
Okay, I'm gonna need some food here. Can I just... Should we try to be vegetarian? Hmm. Is that even possible? Oh, what's this? A deer. It's a baby deer. Look at this. Baby deer, baby deer. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. We need some food. Oh, and a cat. Okay. Let's see if I can get some food here real quick without having to kill everything in the area. Let's see. Artichokey artichokes. There's no artichokes. Maybe there's artichokes. I don't know. Uh, is, there, is there going to be artichokes? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to check this out. Sea lantern, marble pillar. Oh, is this just decorative? Don't know. It seems very fancy. It looks to me like we're gonna have to do some farming. There's so many animals around here. Lots of planes to make props. Yeah? Oh, it shows your saturation. Well, we haven't gone very far on the map, huh? So, King said he was at 400 something, so he's like way up here, right? Is that right? Um, uh, uh. Ooh, 700 negative 470. That's pretty far. Right? Yeah, I'm here. He's like. Thousand blocks that way. No. <laughs> Back to my th thatch hut, my thatch hat. I know, okay, 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 you're right, you're right, I really need some food, let's cook up these potatoes. <laughs> Where is that? Ooh, I'm gonna have to make a dock and a boat, right, because, um, okay, it's just a big lake, but still. This forest and that forest, that looks like it might be. Yeah, okay, good. All different kinds of trees. There's flowers in here. Hmm. Let's see, how do we. Is it. Um, oh, oh. Um, not that one. No, not that one. Um, you? Why? Yeah, why? Okay, mini map is on. We want it to be circle. We want it to be much smaller. I don't like the big one. As small as it goes. 
Um, I don't like that. Well, death points. I don't want that. But we can have death points so that we can see where we die. Lock mini map. Yep. Um, not sure if we want entity radar. I might. Let's see here. Players on. That's fine. Other teams. Friendly mobs. Off. Off. Tame mobs. On. Okay, that seems fine. Uh oh. Here they go. I bet. Yay! I slept. <laughs> This must be... this is a little garden house. I moved into a little nursery. Isn't that nice? I don't know. What, what do we use these for? It's not slow falling. Oh, look at all these things. Okay, is there anything you can see in here that's different than 20 pages? Oh, jeez. Okay. So we have all the regular Minecraft stuff. What? Wool, wool stairs? Concrete stairs? Oh my gosh. Terracotta slabs, wool slabs. Oh my gosh. Oh. All kinds of walls and gates. What's this? Ooh, Neptian. All kinds of fun things. Fish mounts. Oh, cool. Oh, we're going to have to make a little fishing area here. A thatch hut is going to have a farming area and a fishing area. Farming and fishing we're going to do right here. What I want to do, so we have, of course, dirt stairs. We have dirt stairs. Do we have, this is the thing, ah, of course, dirt slab. We have a regular dirt slab. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Snow slab. I mean, it's not as good as layers, but hey. It's way better than not having them. Sandstone, marble, infused wood. I have my I don't know what all this stuff is. Mantle of stars. Cool. Okay. All kinds of gadget things right here. Sandstone. Ooh. Look at all these things we can build with. <laughs> Mahogany. Palm. Willow. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, magic wood. Ooh. And this is kind of nice, yeah, for stripped fur. Marbles, marvelous marbles, demon bricks, wow. Okay, what else? Mana. Okay, what else? Ah, floppy disks. Different kinds of sea lanterns, different colors, different colors for sea lanterns. That's interesting. A gunpowder block and ender pearl block. Wow. Hmm. You can actually build with those now. Different colored wood bookcases. That's awesome. And close that. Can you, can you close that now? I, I don't want this thing anymore. Um. All kinds of plants. Quartz, lavender quartz. You can have different colored quartz. Azul, azulejo. Wait. Azuleo. Azulejo. Azulejo. Azuleo. Hmm. Not sure. Flower blocks. Cool. Okay. Metamorphic. Interesting. Okay. Did I miss the... Okay. Different colored boats. Okay. That's fantastic. Um, oh yeah, here we are. Different wood barrels. Different wood bookcases. Different colored sea lanterns. Hammocks. Oh, we got to have a hammock, of course. A little farmstead here. Oh, here are the things. 
Uh, I don't know what these are. They look cool though. Funnels. Mm, this big for building machines. Create stockpile switch. Windows. Oh. Different kinds of windows. Different. Oh, different kinds of variations of diorite. Regular blocks, but you get to regular blocks, but in different variations. That's cool. Mechanical press, basin, gearbox. Oh, tiled blocks. Oh, look, furniture. <laughs> a cooking table, and an oven, and a sink. Oh my gosh. Uh, printer, because we always need one of those. We need a computer for our floppy disks. Okay, what else? Um, and look at all these variations. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Different kinds of machines, milking machine, furnace, more furniture, oh, different kinds of roofing. Wow. That's cool. Different kinds of doors. Is there? Yeah. Oh, by the sliding door. I wonder if it makes creaking noises. All right. Oh, look at these. Supports. Cool. Seats. Nice. Palisades. Those are wooden walls. Oh my gosh, we got wooden walls, guys. And beams. Awesome. A brazier. Chandeliers. Lattice. Big chain. Ooh. Bar panel. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, steel. Catwalk. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, oh, look at all these different candles and lights. Very cool. More braziers, more lamps. Awesome. Oh, a shroom lantern. Nice. Different kinds of jack-o'-lanterns with different faces. <gasps> Christmas lights. Party lights. Oh, look, look at those paper lanterns. Oh my gosh, look at, oh my gosh, there are so many. I wonder if these are actually going to work. These are fantastic. Pennants. Oh, skull lights, flower lights. How do you make a blue flower light, right? We have the, we have this blue, can we make a blue flower light? Blue dye. Do you have to have those three flowers? And iron, okay. Cool. Washington defense system ahead. <laughs> you can make factories. More metal and steel. Sheet metal. Buckets of fish. Gosh, we got the cooking stuff. There's regular pantry. Oh, we got cupboards and crates of food. Oh. No, we're not even halfway through, right? Uh, Oh, bridges, stone and wood, more machine stuff. Ooh, look at those gears, saw blades. Okay. Um, what else? Oh my gosh. Look at all these doors. Oh, 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 a Jacobster door. Oh my gosh. Look at. Oh, and what's this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's say we wanted to make a roof thing. You need this, and then you need a giant yeah, jungle log, and use two logs. Oh, that is so cool. Windows. Ah, oh. bricks. I wonder if you have, like, chimneys that you can... You still have to make them like we do <laughs> in Minecraft. Um, rain gutters. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I guess you could be build our real-life house in here. You should do that, huh? Okay. Um, oh, so much stuff. So much plastic. So we have plastic, concrete, steel, as well as wood and stone stuff. Plastic road. Wow. I wonder if it's bouncy or if you go faster on it. Plastic gates, all kinds of plastic. I make plastic out of it anyway. Let's see what I make plastic. Uh, uh, an 
HDPE sheet. You need a machine to do that, I suppose. What do we got here? A robot? Okay. An assembler, an immersive engineering mechanism, formulaic assemblicator. thing to do. Letters? Look at that. Neon tube, ne glass stick, blaze rod. Oh, that is so cool. Battery. Shingles. <gasps> that is so cool. Wait. Can I make a cactus? Can I make a cactus? Um, pickaxe. I wonder how many. We need three pickaxe. We need three cactuses. So I better plant those up, huh? All right. We definitely need to get some a lot of supplies. I don't know, guys. If we can do this, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of grinding. Mm-hmm. We should get this on single player creative well too just to mess around with it vertical slabs guys there's vertical slabs of everything here oh my gosh wow look at these leaves oh wow here's the ancient tomes we were just reading about Okay, more machine thingies, more crates of food. A spliffum. We can use we can make spliffums. Quark, oh, I like quark. Okay, so what else? More shingles. Light gray cactus shingle. Bricks. And a cactus blank. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this, all these guys. Look at all these frame pieces to build a house with. So much to explore, too. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, structurize. <laughs> okay, I'm already getting like way overwhelmed. But we got to the end. Waystones, that's nice. Okay. Wood posts, another brazier. Special spot. Treated wood. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. Phew. So, yeah. Okay, guys. They're underground, so I'm going to sleep. Okay, so there's no... <laughs> This is a chest. Let's leave these here. Leave that there. Oh, let's finish reading the book. And I think we're going to be done with this. I'm going to have to do another mining. Make a cooker. Yeah. And. Okay, we read about constellation papers. So can we get back to the main? How do we get back to the main? Okay, discovery. Academy shrines. Okay, let's read about those. Academy shrines. Areas determined by the academy to be conducive to field studies have had shrines built in them. These consist of two variants. Larger and more elaborate shrines that contain crystals useful for starlight manipulation, and smaller shrines that are useful to smaller initiate study groups. Both types include chests with study supplies inside, though the exact contents may change based on the initiates who used that location last. Larger shrines are usually located in areas free of treetops, such as deserts and colder mountaintops. Mm. The larger shrines contain sample collector crystals useful for gathering and manipulating starlight. Each has an attunement to one of the fine co five constellations of the right classification and to be most beneficial to newer initiates in the beginning of their studies. 
While flawless specimens in their own rights, these crystals are crafted from refined but not pure bases and so should not be expected to provide the same starlight energy levels available to practical, practiced crystal crafters who have highly refined their craft. Crystal crafters. These crystals cannot be enhanced in the performance because of this, due to the same issue. Special wards have been placed to prevent initiates from carrying off or modifying these study tools to maintain the availability for all initiates in a region. The Academy, the Academy reminds all initiates that starlight cannot penetrate opaque solid materials. While the Academy will install a roof covering to protect study areas against inclement weather, and hostile creatures should the academy need to close. Removal of this roofing is necessary for the collection of starlight if the crystal within is to be in use for learning activities. Okay. And that was that. Ores. Rock crystal ore. Deep underground near bedrock, the intense pressure can form incredibly rare and fragile crystals. These crystals have a unique internal structure that makes them particularly receptive to starlight. Despite the relative fragility of these crystals, they are held within hard veins of rock that are prone to destroying the fragile crystals inside, unless mined by a tool sufficiently hard itself, such as diamond. Their resonation with starlight energies becomes visible while holding a resonating wand when near these crystal deposits, allowing them to be seen through prevailing blocks before harvest. Mm -hmm. Aquamarine, aquamarine shale, polished by the continuous flow of water over fragmented crystal deposits along riverbanks and beaches. These crystals react to the constant low-level exposure to starlight, resulting in a uniquely transmuted natural resource well suited for starlight crafting. Okay. So this is all about this starlight thing, right? So I wonder how we get books for the other stuff. We must be able to get books or something. I'll have to look on wikis. You guys will have to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> uh, marble. The marble needed by an astral sorcerer. Okay, so this is astral sorcery, right? Mod. Is an exceptionally pure variant. Magically pristine and highly reflective of magical energies, this marble can be found in sparse veins underground. Other marbles with less magical purity cannot be used for the delicate energy control needed to work with starlight. Carving channels and prescribed manners will alter how the marble channels nearby will alter how the marble channels nearby starlight. Hmm. While this is the same marble used by the Academy in all of its communal shrines and other student gathering areas, the Academy strongly warns all initiates that stealing or defacing the marble used for Academy property will result in a punishment to those caught by the faculty up to and including being exp expelled from the Academy. Okay, so that, that's, that's the thing that we saw. How do we use it again? <laughs> uh, 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 it doesn't say. Okay. City marble. By coating the surface of marble with a magical filtering element, such as coal dust, the marble itself can be changed beyond simply making it dirty. The magical resonance of the marble is fundamentally changed in this way so that even washing off the dust does not change the new appearance or efficacy of the marble along with the qualities of the magical energy absorbed and reflected through that surface. This is most useful when attempting to channel larger volumes of starlight by removing any impurities in their energy that may have been picked up during the transmission from source to collector. Okay. And then you could do that, and then you could make that, and that's really cool. Nice, okay. Let's go here again. We looked at ores. So let's look at this. Okay, so it goes here. This is the path, right? I guess. Something. Okay, resonating wand. While the floating crystals in the shrines will spill some of their internal starlight into, onto nearby crafting tables, thanks to the Academy's awards, other crystals will not. As this behavior is also fairly wasteful and magically messy, it will not suffice for more delicate crafting. 
One of the first tools any initiate should obtain is a wand that will allow them to control the release of starlight energies from starlight-sensitive devices and crafting implements by right-clicking them. Okay. Aquamarine. Due to its sensitivity to gathered starlight energies, the wand can be used at night to determine areas of conflicting starlight resonance. Also, do you have to look for the stuff at night? Because that's when the stars are out, right? I guess that makes sense. <laughs> The vibrations of this wand when exposed to open starlight at night reveal areas deep underground, okay, where contained starlight energies are contained by a crystalline form. So why is it formed underground? Something about the pressure or whatever? Okay. These revealed areas appear as almost smoky areas of starlight displacement above ground. One final use of a resonating wand is that attempting to activate a starlight device that requires a supporting structure built around it will alert the wielder when the supporting structure is incorrect. Due to the disruptions in flowing starlight, missing or misplaced portions of the structure will be visually highlighted, allowing for rapid troubleshooting in the construction of these structures. Okay, that sounds useful. And lastly, the luminous crafting table. The purity of starlight easily realigns the contents of materials into a more ordered state for their intended purpose. By placing a crafting table near an academy shrine's collector crystal, its wards will direct starlight to transmute the crafting table into a crafting instrument more suited but to an initiate, initiate of the stars. Made of the purest marble, this entry-level altar table can cleanly absorb starlight energy from the sky or a linked collector crystal and redirect the magical energy into the crafting materials laid in it, instead of relying on a constant, magically messy flood of power. To capture starlight on its own, this table needs an unobstructed view of the sky directly above. Okay. It also lacks a required matrix that a collector crystal possesses to gather starlight efficiently, and is unable to compensate for atmospheric diffusion of starlight energy. Measurements by the Academy indicate sea level is roughly the midpoint in diffusion losses, with bedrock showing nearly full diffusion loss of the energies. Atmospheric diffusion losses disappear at around twice the distance from bedrock as sea level itself. Uh, so does that mean you should do it and capture it higher? Above sea level. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, I can make an extra fast workbench. If the table is above the atmospheric diffusion height, or other factors make raising the table higher infeasible, relocating the table to another location in the world would be recommended. Starlight energies are not uniformly distributed from the heavens, and there are areas of the world with far more concentrated starlight energies available than others. Thankfully, a recurrence of Icurian famine has not repeated and survey teams have not recorded instances in modern times of locations with almost no exposure to starlight energies over large areas. Hmm, so you don't have a high, okay. Once the items needed as, as ingredients for the crafting recipe are laid out within the table, right-clicking the table with the resonating wand will, re will release the reservoir excuse me, flooding the ingredients with starlight power. The resulting crafting item will be, will be ejected from the table automatically once the crafting completes. The current reservoir of stored energy is displayed below the table item interface itself. Because of the volatility of starlight, the storage does not function like a battery that charges over time, but instead reflects the current amount of ambient captured starlight available for crafting. All but the most simple devices, tools, and material manipulations will require more starlight than this table can safely redirect and provide with its reservoir. Once an initiate has used it to build the necessary tools to continue their education, they will also have gained sufficient knowledge of the needed starlight concepts to improve upon this table, making it far more effective. So that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. And that's it for now. I think we will... Oh, it's night again already. <laughs> oh, bye!
Greg. You don't. You don't eat those beetles. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Do we eat beetles?